And you're sending out, what the hell is that? Is that the platoon of archers? We're sending platoons out as well. Okay. I'm a little bit confused by all this, but sure. Alright, I think you guys are in for a little treat here today as we are checking out a little banger by the name of Love and War, Warlord by Chance. Apparently, this is a, a series of games. As a matter of fact, the other ones were called Hero by Chance, if I'm correct. This time, you're a Warlord by Chance. But this is a type of series that brings together culture and war. Okay, so first things first, we have, um, <laughs> what is... What does that in the left mean? I don't understand. Okay, so this will be our overworld map. This essentially does play out as a bit of a uh, tower defense type of game, so it's something that should be fairly up our alley, I would say. We have store, we have gallery. So here in the gallery, we could check out all of the conquested princesses, I imagine, perhaps. A lot of them locked that we haven't seen just yet. Obviously, we have to beat them down first, and there's apparently a heart with a lock on it here. It says love. I don't know what that means either. Today, I have to deliver this message to the blacksmith. Let's see, make 500 swords, 600 spears, and 1,000 arrows for the army. Well, I better go now. Huh? Who was that? I hope the governor doesn't ask me to send another message now. I've been so busy since the Civil War broke out. Oh, please don't give me another ur urgent message to deliver. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Uh, hello? Mysterious woman. I'm here to see you, Falcon 69. Now, how may I help you? On the contrary, I believe I can help you. I'm here to entrust a divine responsibility upon you. You are... Wait. If you don't mind, I have to deliver an important message. Oh, it's not that important for now. But as I was saying... What? What is more? This is an order from the governor. Ah, I'm so late. Late? Of course, and your recruits need weapons. There's a civil war going on right now, lady. I'm sorry, but I gotta go now. Talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Just left her in his house? At least kick her out first. You know what this woman is. Damn, this civil war. When can men stop fighting? These lords don't really have anything better to do. Well, I hope this will end soon. And hope we survive through it. And I also hope that I don't have to deliver messages for the rest of my life. Perhaps you haven't discovered your destiny. Oh, it's you again. Hello. I cannot recall a time a man ever ran away from me. I mean, I can't imagine them running away from you either. You're making my job very difficult. Your job? I can't risk you running away again. Men, take him. What? Blacksmith, help me. <laughs> you gonna let this random stranger just kidnap me? Ah, oh, what a buddy that guy was. Where, where am I? You are in the castle, or at least it's the deepest and darkest dungeon cell. What? W why? What did I do? I'm innocent. No, you're not. What do you mean? You mean you've never suspected? Suspected what? That you were meant for great things. Do you know who your father is? I never knew my father. My mother only told me he was an idiot. What? How could you say such a thing about such a man? Only an idiot would abandon his family. Wait. You know my father? I did. Did? Yes, your father has passed. What I'm about to tell you is the utmost secrecy. You are Falcon 69, son of the strongest and most powerful warlord in Shun Si. I... I am? What does that mean? It means you are heir to his throne. You will be the future ruling warlord. Your training begins now. Okay, so let's send out, what are they sending out? They're sending out Karate Dude. I'm going to say we maybe use a ranged individual, but we got some more points, so how about we also throw out a Karate Dude in there as well? Probably take up the brunt of this attack, and then we could fling arrows from afar. That's what's up. And let's send out another Arrow Dude out there. So let's see, 300? Okay, this will be a fairly simplistic fight. We only got two different classes to mess around with here. I wonder if they got anything different than we do. So far, oh no, they do. Oh, yo, who, they got a pike dude? I love pike dudes. I want a pike dude. All right, my melee guy's getting wrecked here, but that's to be expected. Range boys, get to it. Don't let them pike you. Get out of here. You're training me? I think it's the other way around. I am training you, lady. 
Victoria's three stars. All right. Okay, we have unlocked the bike boy for ourselves too. Excellent. Let's go to management here. I mean, let's go with arches. It feels like arches are really, really good so far. Might as well upgrade them, right? Yeah. Okay. What are we going to do today? Halt. In the name of Lord Jin, the true king, you are under arrest. Who, me? No, not you, you insolent fool. I am here for the betrayer, I see. Lu Chu, you found me. Ha <laughs> ha, you're surprised. No one can escape my reach. I see you will return with me to face your trial. And if we refuse? What? Quiet boy. Do you not see the situation you are in? We outnumber you three to one. Resistance is futile. Surrender now and I will spare your men's lives. If you promise to spare my men, I will come with you. A wise decision. No, I see. We can win. Falcon. Trust me, I think we can fight our army. This town is my home. I know it's terrain. Is this a joke, fool? You won't even lay a scratch on me. Alright, it's a lot of talk there, uh, Lord Majin Buu. But you're about to go down, prepare to die? No, 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 you underestimate me, Majin Buu. Who are you sending out, that guy? Okay. Well, let's send my archer. Oh, did my archer actually change um, colors based on the level up? It's actually cool. Alright. Uh, let's also send out the Pike Boys as well. And more archers, why not? Should we send Melee Boy? I mean, I'm not sure how useful Melee Boy is now that we have Pike Boy. They got a guy on a horse, though. How do I get that guy? Oh my god, he went down so quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Just send the Pike Boys out. These Melee guys have no chance. Send another archer. And, I mean, we might as well just send out one regular Melee Boy at the same time. Oh, this lady is getting it good, let me tell you. So much for all that big talk. Oh, you're giving me more points to summon more? I mean, I don't think we have to summon at this point. It's over for her. Come on. <laughs> what? How can this be? You've defeated my army. Actually, we also defeated you. You are still a fool. The battle may be yours, but the war is far from over. Congratulations on your victory, Falcon. You are very much like your father. I couldn't have done it without your help. Ah, oh, there's no time for words. We must make haste. Lu Chu will return with an even stronger army. Oh, Lu Chu. Majin Buu, what up? Close it. So what? We have to take her on again? Manage. Ooh, heroes have been locked. Okay. So, this will be Asi, who apparently has a thunder spell. 50 points. Okay, I saw that thunder thing charging up last time. The thunder staff causes 80 points of damage to all enemies. I mean, let's upgrade it now. We got enough money for it. We must escape into the woods. They will provide us an advantage. I often went there when I was a kid. Me and my friends often played war games amongst the trees. I know how to set up an effective defense around them. Great, then let's move. The defense is up now. We are ready. Our scouts have alerted us to Luchu's movements. She leads an even greater army this time, marching towards us. We are not safe. Wrong. We are already here. Please. We don't want any trouble. Begging already. <laughs> I must defeat you to regain my honor. But I admit, I will enjoy destroying every last one of you. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, you insult me for the last time. Speaking of which, I hope that we eventually get a horse boy, because cavalries are another one of my favorite units there. Oh my god, they're sending nothing but those. Oh boy. Oh my god, okay, now we're kind of being wrecked here. Okay. Um, hey, when is this power going to charge up? I think we might need it really quickly. They got, like, a summoner of some kind, too. What is that? Alright, I'm not sure about this one. I think we're about to get wrecked here. Okay, powers. Powers are ready. Um, we need to get to 100? No, no, no. Use it now. Power, please. Zap them! Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, they're still not dead? How did that man survive the blast? Okay, it's fine. Send some melees out there. We've taken our first bit of damage. But I think we can now turn it around. Suddenly their troops are very low. And now we're pushing forward. Let's send another archer and Oh, here they come again. See, the problem is they send out like, you know, 70 of these horses at the same time. Okay, we have enough to do another charge up though, at least. So if things get hairy again, we could definitely drop down the powers. Okay, we, we brought them down this time. Perfect. More melee, please. More archers. 
And yeah, just toss a regular one of those in there too. Our power is ready to go too, or actually now it just about is. I don't think we need it at this point though. Now I wonder if my special also does damage to the castle. I guess we won't find out because she uh she lost before we summoned it. Okay. How? How could I be humiliated by some fool? He is not a fool. He is Falcon 69. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, you know he's not a fool. The third son of Shun Shui's greatest warlord and his true heir. He has another son? Yes. His father had him in secret and protected him all these years. Now he will be trained to become the next warlord. Your defeat is only the first step in his training. Jin and Hudai's war will burn the kingdom to ashes. Only Falcon can save that civilization we have left. You all will be hanged for your treason. Perhaps I will be. If that day comes, it will only be because of a false warlord sits upon the throne. But today is your day, Lu Chu. Due to your many attempts at Falcon 69's life, I condemn you to be executed. What? N no! Falcon? No one is getting executed. But she is the enemy. She's not my enemy. Let her go home. Let her go home? I mean, I could understand at least taking her prisoner for cultural purposes, obviously, but not let her go home. And is she returned? Exactly. Then we will defeat her again. I am not a killer. Falcon. Huh? I have no home to return to. If I returned to my Lord Jin empty-handed, I would be executed. I would like you to be my new lord. Allow me to swear my allegiance and serve you. I'll see, what do you think? I think she cannot be trusted. I agree. Which is why, I'll see, you have to forgive me. Luchu, I accept. I will be your lord. Thank you, Falcon. I will be your sword and only yours. Uh, uh, thanks? Man, how do my life get so serious? You are more like your father every day, but we must continue moving. One word, once word spreads of Luchu's deflection, or defection, Jin will send more men after us. Where can we go? It seems like everyone is out to get us. My lord, if I may? Yes, Luchu. We can retreat to Tianbai, a city in the west where I rule. What? You rule? I thought you had no home to return to. Like you are the ruler? Please do not feel threatened, my lord. I only rule in the sense of defending its borders and maintaining its infrastructure. It still seems like a home to go to. If you'd like, I could transfer control and responsibilities over to you. Since you are my lord, it would make sense to make you the city's new ruler. Whoa, 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 whoa. No thank you, please. I don't know how to rule a city. Don't worry, you'll get used to it very quickly. I mean, you better start with a city because you're going to have an entire kingdom pretty soon. We cannot waste any more time. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Alright. Well, Tianbei is this way, my lord. Shall we go? We shall. We shall indeed. Now have I unlocked the- Yes! Okay, so I guess whoever you beat that has a new unit, then you acquire the unit yourself. Alright. So now we got cavalry boys. 180 and damage. Now they do get rocked by those spears that we have seen, but as long as we avoid them, we should be fine. We have enough for at least one upgrade on them right now. Speaking of heroes, Luchu has Admire, which does what? Stuns all enemies for 7 seconds. Next one would be 7.5. Wow, what a beautiful city. Yes, Tianbei is known to be the most elegant city in the region. As a current base of our operations, this will suffice. What's our next move? Jin will have heard of Luchu's betrayal, his fury is likely in its own way. That means Tianbei isn't safe. We should bolster our defense and prepare for a siege. A wise decision, my lord, but perhaps I can offer a suggestion. Of course. What do you advise we do? We go on the offensive. Take the attack to Jin. What about Tianbei? The people here will need us. Jin's army will not hurt the people of Tianbei if we are not here. Crushing us will be his only focus. Huh. We can't take Jin's capital just yet. His forces are too strong. We'd be outnumbered 20 to 1. I doubt a city could maintain that number of soldiers all in one place. Jin would be wise to divide his battalions throughout the region. Especially if he's already waging a war against his brother. 
Having his forces divided means he'd be able to use multi-pronged attacks against enemies and maintain a wider, inf a wider influence throughout the region. And here I thought I was the only good military advisor? I know. I'm so good, right? I'm sorry. I'll be more modest. No, you don't have to be modest. You're the next warlord. Modesty, you don't know it. Okay, Luchu. What are the known strongholds that Jin controls? The closest city would be Zong Zi. But my lord, Song Ji is protected by 50 feet tall stone walls and an army of 6,000. We'd be walking to our doom. And then we march our soldiers here to a forest just outside their gates. What will we do there, my lord? We wait. Hidden. For how long? Until our scouts spy a large enough portion of Song Ji's forces leaving the city. Leaving to attack us at Tianbei. Exactly. But we won't be at Tianbei. We'll be at their doorsteps. A surprise attack. Ready your soldiers. We leave tonight. Yes, my lord. But wait! Okay, so now that we have defeated Lu Chu, and she's apparently pledged her service to us, let's see just exactly how much she's willing to pledge away. Lu Chu, I am here to see you. There is something we should discuss. I am honored by your presence. Please. There's no need for any etiquette. Something still troubles me, Luchu. Do you really wish to serve me? If you feel reluctant, feel free to share your thoughts. I can still let you go your way. Please, my lord, I really want to serve you. First, call me Falcon 69. Second, why? You were just a commoner without any previous military experience. But you defeated me twice. I never faced such an opponent before. I have a feeling you will be a promising warlord. Okay, I'm not much concerned about war that much. So, are you happy where you are? I am. And there is something else. Love scene. Well, honestly, I did have something similar in mind. Look, I would love to, but I need to think about this first. Oh, I need to think about it first. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, so our guy happens to be faceless in the scenes? Oh my, how lewd. <laughs> we are here. Serious woman. Welcome to Songji, young warlord. What? How did you know? Know that you organized a surprise attack? I am Ru Shi. The wife of Lord Jin. The greatest tactical mind in the world. Oh, you're the wife? This Jin boy doesn't even know what's about to happen to him. Loses town, loses wife. He did not marry me only for my great beauty. He and I share a love of war and a lust for violence. I suspected there would be an attack on Songji as you fell right into my trap. Prepare for battle. Don't worry, this won't take too long. Hey, look at you. Saucy, huh? I am always ahead of you. No, no, you followed into my trap, even though we had no idea you even existed, but it's my trap all along. I guess we should be able to overrun this way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> no can do. Oh, that's a new one. Another bit of a mercenary, maybe? It's a sortie. Alright, well, either way, let's send some pike boys out there. So far, my cavalry is pushing in like nobody's business. They got their own cavalry, too. Another arch. Okay, we should be good now. Plus, we got more power here. Yeah, we got this. This peasant just rocked that booty. We've surrounded Zongji, my lord. What are your orders? Uh, how long into the surrender? Hard to say. The city of Zongji is known for its bountiful harvest. They may well have enough resources to survive weeks, maybe even months. Try years. Rushi. Zhangji is more resourceful than you think. Drop your arms and surrender. My husband's armies will return soon and smash your groups of weaklings. While we stay smug and cozy behind our strong stone walls. Rushi is bluffing. We haven't spotted a messenger raven leaving Zhangji since we've landed. Jin's army still don't know we are here. Still, we should be careful with our next move. I suggest a full frontal assault. A show of force will either break the enemy's lines or weaken their will. That is a foolish tactic. Foolish? We cannot afford to play your game. The defense of Zhangji are renowned. We'd lose several lives without a plan. We do have a plan. Attack with everything we have. I see, Lu Chu. My lord. I know how we should proceed. Lu Chu, you will lead a frontal assault. But Falcon. A wise decision, my lord. I will conquer Zhongji in your name. No, you will not. 
my lord? Your goal is to draw Ruji's attention away from our true target. The back gate. An attack from behind? Yes. Aji and I will lead the larger army to strike at Ruji's blind spot. Another brilliant attack. Oh yeah, it's very brilliant to attack one of the entrances. You got two entrances. Oh, your 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 plan is to attack the other one. Oh, man, that's amazing thinking. <laughs> and you're sending out what the hell is that? Is that the platoon of archers? Uh, what the hell is? Oh, okay. We're sending platoons out as well. Okay, I'm a little bit confused by all this, but sure. I think we're supposed to just play the counter game, so I think our monks should be stronger than the pike boys, if I'm correct. And then down here they got sorties, which I imagine... ...pikes should be able to... ...fend off. I mean, we're doing numbers up there. Monk boys! We have just about won that one. Okay, good, 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 good. Now they got more of those. Was that the right choice down here? I'm not entirely sure. It feels like we're kind of winning that one off, though. Let's send some more up through this way. I mean, our archers here are just doing work. Oh, now they got their own archers on the side of there. Oh, jeez. I mean, half of their health's just about gone. Okay, they're setting up from the top side. Let's send monks up there. And we'll send another rally of cavaliers down the middle. Which should be enough to take care of that. Now they got more Pike Boys to send our Pike Boys off. Let's send archers through there. Pikes through there. Pick this up. And we'll do set up this. Okay, I think we got this at this point. And set up more cavalry through this side. It's over. Interesting how they switch it up though. Yeah, well, that lady was talking a bunch of trash earlier. No, how can this be? I lost. We shall see each other again. Oh, she did? You were supposed to capture and I was supposed to take her in as one of my harem slaves to show Jin that I am the new warlord and exert our dominance over the entire kingdom. The harem of warlord girls must indeed grow. I'll catch you next time.